Welcome to gravitation, all right? Basically stuff having to do with gravity, all right? And now we're not talking about just gravity of you on the surface of the Earth, right? We're talking about gravity of like stuff up here like the moon or a satellite kind of deal going on and how they interact with the Earth, all right? So we're no longer just on the surface. We're talking about interacting with stars and planets and satellites and things like that. All right, so Newton made up this rule. He was looking at all the planets and stuff. He came up with the law of universal gravitation. And it's actually like Newton's second law. It's a big formula, right? And that is he decided that the force of gravity, notice it's a big G. This is for big gravity now, not a uh, little g, f of little g. That's just like what happens on the Earth, and we can just pretend that all this other formula doesn't exist. So this is on the Earth, we call this, but for, for realsies, for the rest of the solar system and, and satellites and stuff, we're going to use this formula because the further away you get from the Earth, the less the pull, and so you'll see that here. So the force of gravity between two things, right, is going to be this big capital G, and that's going to be a constant, and then you take the mass of the two things you're looking at, right? Gravity affects two things. You can't have gravity all by itself, all right? There's not going to be an attraction. not going to be a force. And then uh, it's going to go over r squared. So two m's over an r squared, right? So here's the force of gravity. This is the gravitational constant, gravitational constant, all right? And it's very small, like 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11 or something like that. It's very small. Know that it is small. Gravity is very weak because this number is very small. And these are the masses. Okay, that could be the moon and the earth, or the earth and the sun, or it could be a satellite and the earth, or whatever. And this is the radius, which is what we, because things go in a circle, right? Things orbit in a circle. We usually call this distance a radius. That is the distance between these two things. Now, if they're huge like the moon and the earth, we, uh, we do the distance from their center. Right, so the distance of the center of the Earth to the center of the moon, right? It's not a big deal. Like for satellites, the center of the satellite is pretty much basically the satellite. But you want to look from the satellite to the center of the Earth, okay? This distance is to the center of the two objects. All right, so there you go. There is our law of universal gravitation. Big capital G, it's a number. Universe, you want a different number G, you need a different universe, okay? It's a really tiny number. The mass of the two things you're looking at, and how far apart they are, we square that. All right, so what's the unit of that, right? So uh, force needs to be kilogram meters per second squared. It needs to be that, all right? And so you need that because you want it to be in Newtons, all right? And now, so if we want, boom, looking at our formula before, how do we get bigger gravitational force, right? It was g m m over r squared. Well, you need bigger m's. Right? So if you take a satellite and you place it with the moon, that's going to be a bigger force. All right? There's our force, capital G. Uh, and if we want more, you could have a smaller distance. Right? If we have these two things that are really far apart, and then you put them right next together, boom, that's more gravity there. That's bigger force because they're, they're closer. All right? The closer you are, the more you're attracted to each other. We'll talk about that. Okay, is there a gravitational force between you and your computer? Yes, there is. Look on your left. If you're sitting next to somebody, you are attracted to them from gravity. All right, so what direction is gravity working? It is always between the two of you, right? Attracting. It's always attracting. Attract. All right, so it is pulling you towards the computer, right? And the direction is pulling the computer towards you, all right? And so why aren't you being forced together? Well, you are, you're being pulled together, but it is so weak sauce, all right? The, the gravitational force between you and your monitor is totally weak sauce. And why is that? Because this capital G that's in the equation is a tiny, tiny, tiny number, all right? So you need really big things like the Earth to have gravity have any power at all. All right, inverse squared, right? This is kind of cool. Um, we, once more, big capital G here with the capital G, M, M over R squared. And this is the inverse squared law. Inverse squared law. There you go. 
Uh, and it says that, right, as r gets bigger, right, the force gets smaller as r squared, right? So in other words, we got two objects, right, between them. If they're two times farther away, right, bloop, bloop, right, they are going to be four times weaker, right? That's that squared part. If they're three times farther away, they're going to be nine times weaker. Okay. For that same token, you could get three times closer, and you get the force of gravity is nine times stronger. Okay, so it goes as the square. There's a square of of the radius there, the distance between them. All right, what is your weight in pounds? All right, so we know your pounds or whatever. Dr. Carlson is about 160 pounds, whatever. Uh, we're going to convert that into newtons, which is you know I don't know what is that one pound 4.4 newtons. So 400 to six, seven, I don't know, 700 newtons, something like that, a little bit more, all right, and so my weight in newtons is about 700, we knew that, all right, my mass in kilograms, oh, this is getting harder all the time, but, you know, we're going to call it uh, 75 kilograms, we pretend I'm kind of light, all right, so that's my mass, so, so again, your weight on earth, you know, is going to be somewhere in the hundreds, right, probably, probably, 300 ish up to six, well, maybe 1500, which would be really super heavy.